All right, obviously, a uh, pretty disappointing performance tonight, um, uh, pretty much across the board. I didn't think that we came out with the intensity that we needed to to start a game of this magnitude. And uh, I thought our guys did a great job fighting back, and I uh, thought we started to play with much more fight. And went to halftime and expected us to come back out with some more fight and just didn't. And I uh, had a nice... Had a nice little bad run right there to start basically the game and the second half, and uh, then we just got dominated on the glass. And you know when you when that happens, when you're there's a this game's not for the weak minded, and and when you're not prepared mentally for fights and you're not prepared mentally to go after people, it's uh, it can get hard on you quick. And you know it's very hard to simulate their length in practice. I thought we did a really good job in our preparation of dealing with their pressure. We can't simulate those guys in terms of their length. And I thought that, you know, we didn't turn it over versus the pressure, but I didn't feel like I, feel, I didn't feel like we got the attacks that we could have gotten against it. I thought we were very just passive in our attack. And, you know, we kept trying to be aggressive. We tr kept trying to, you know, when we got them in scramble situations, I thought we got great looks. But uh, overall, we just weren't aggressive enough really on either end of the floor to be able to win a game like that. It seemed like. Yeah, I, th I felt like there were two times for sure when we got down, made a run, um, and had a chance to, to, to get the game to an even margin, and then we just couldn't quite do it. You know, I think we got it to 43-40 the one time, had the critical turnover up the sideline, uh, had a very, very passive layup is probably the nicest way to say it, uh, going to the basket. The ref's not giving you that foul. They're going to board that, and they're going to go to the other end to score those, and we talked a lot about that in, in, in our prep. Uh, we missed nine layups up there, you know, with contact, and we had to do a better job of playing off of two feet and looking to throw those balls out against their aggression. And sometimes in the game we did that, and then other times we didn't. But uh, yeah, you're exactly right. It, and there, there becomes a, a drainage with that. You know, when you get down, you make a run, and then you get down, you make a run, you get down. You, at some point, you know, you, you just you just wear out. And um, I thought I thought we did that. I thought there was a moment there where it looked like we were really about to throw the towel in, and we called that timeout and uh, try to refocus those guys to make sure they finish right because we got to – I don't care how much you're down. You're gonna, if you're out there, you're going to play the game the right way. When you fell behind like you did to start out the game, any other carryover from Saturday? I have no idea of answering that. You know, I thought that we fought really hard not to let that happen. Uh, we were very disappointed about Saturday. But, you know, we had Sunday off. We came back Monday. You know, I thought we had a very good practice Monday. I thought I thought yesterday was – you know, yesterday we didn't go as long, but it was one of our most competitive practices in a short period. I thought the scout team did a great job, and um, I really went into the game confident. You know, I thought our I thought our spirits were good. Both practices were good. Um, you know, the only other time this season that I felt like I did tonight in terms of just not giving the effort that was needed was the Winthrop game, and going into that game, we had some bad practices. But the surprising thing about tonight is we, we've had a pretty good two days, you know, considering what we went through. But, um, you know, it, it definitely looked like it was lingering. You know, I mean, I could definitely see that from the common eye that that was looked like we came out emotionless. You know, it was pretty, pretty obvious. Um, obviously, they're a taller team, pretty long team. Is that you know, they just had a huge edge in rebounding tonight and 12 2 edge on the offensive side, 12 0 on the second chance? That certainly, I guess, helped them keep you guys from getting. Yeah, I mean, they, they've they got size and length, and they play much bigger than we do. And, you know, I guess they've won the last three games in this series now. But, um, you know, we've got – we got – we didn't get our rebound like this in past games. You know, it hadn't, the margin has not been this big, even with their size. And, uh, you know, we, we have one of our cores that, we you know, we have to punish and pursue, especially at the size that we play. Did a terrible job on the perimeter of punishing and really making sure that we got that we hit bodies as they were crashing. And then also thought we stood and watched a good bit that when balls were, you know, missed long or there were some there were some loose balls, I didn't think that we pursued at the element we needed to. And, again, that just goes back into the mental toughness. If I don't care how small you are or how big they are, if you get beat 21 on the glass, you got whipped. And um, we got whipped. Yeah, I think also we just – we had times we just over-dribbled the ball out, you know, and, and I wish I had answers for you on that. You know, I, I, it's a 
it's the dumbest thing in me in the world to see how well this team moves the ball and to see us get in moments where we just refuse to move it. You know, I I, I wish I could you could see a stat sheet and, and figure it out. It's pretty clear as day. You know, we show the film, we show the clips, but when you're playing a team with length, you've got to move it. You got to get it side to side. You got to move the length. You can't let the length just sit there and think you're going to attack it one on one and you're just going to drive it all the way to the basket. And um, you know, there's four or five clips from the night where we did a great job of that. And then there's 15, 16 clips where we just literally just dribbled the ball out and uh, looked surprised that they got back and you know just couldn't convert. And um, you know, again, that's uh, and sometimes when you're down and you're trying to make things happen and you're trying to be forceful. That's that's not how you beat a team like that. You got to get that thing moving, and um, we didn't do a good job of that. Um, it seems like right now, particularly three through eight in the standings, there's still a chance for that to be pretty fluid. So the next couple of weeks are really big games. Kind of what's key for your team as you go through this next stretch again? I think the key anytime you go through adversity is you got to you find out who you are. You know, you find out you find out what you're made of. And um, I think we're going to find this thing out pretty quickly. And I trust that with this group. I think this group's made of, of, of a great group of people. I think it's made up of a group that is willing to fight. And I fully expect them to fight. And, you know, we're not going to get caught up in the standings. We're going to get caught up in seeing if we can play our best ball. And uh, tonight we didn't do that. And I think that we've got we've got to we got to regroup from this and we got to figure out, hey, why why was it you know why and and sometimes you forget to you just go to all the bad you go to all the negative but sometimes this stuff is much more simple than we think and um, we got to identify some issues as a staff and then we got to make sure that the team is on the same page that our leadership is on the same page and uh, we got to march forward in one front I think the biggest thing that happens in situations like this is people get pulled apart and uh, we got to stay tight we got to stay connected and uh, we got to continue to fight as one